in America, we know that at the per point of which we are sort of in more full growth, our parents do not walk into our bedrooms and expect to see us but naked. The truth is, in America, regardless of what society or ethnicity you come from, generally speaking, there is a form of modesty expected between parents and children. At the same time, there are more open cultures, like mine in Japan, where it was common practice in some cases for families to go to onsen or bathe together. And it was sort of normal, because in Japan, the concept of the human body is very different. It's a lot more alive, I might say, but it's also a lot more modest, and that everybody there thinks, well, everybody's got one, what's the problem here? They also are not so unabashed in that they are immoral all the time in their thinking there. But onsen over the course of time then became bigendered where there was guys one on one side of a, of a hotel and gals on the other, but it was still a bunch of strangers taking a bath together, which isn't much different than the typical locker room in a high school or a college. Now, I haven't been to one of those in a long time, so possibly modesty has thankfully come further along in that now there might be doors like there was in our dorm room for, on a shower room so that we each had individual stalls and a very teeny little spot to put something down and pray to God it would stay out of the water, which never really happened, so it was hard to keep anything you wanted to put on before you left uh, dry, but that's not the point. You even get that when you go to a a campground to take a shower. They don't have things appropriately designed so that the stuff you bring in there to change into doesn't get totally obliterated and wet. But that's not my point. My point is that the human body is the human body, and the human body is the individual body. So after you reach a certain age, you sort of expect that your brothers and sisters don't want to see your naked body. 